Hey everybody, what's going on? Thank you all for checking out this video. I'm down at the pond this evening, so if you hear a bunch of cicadas and June bugs and frogs, that's why I'm down here in the woods. But today's video, I'm going to be going over one of the most important setups that I have. Going over like a, a review slash what I think of it and just showing you not even if you wanted to buy just just if you're interested in what I use or if you're looking to buy one of these setups that's what I wanted to show so the reason I think it's the most important is I think everybody's got to have a spinning rod I know there's people out there that they swear against using a spinning rod it's for girls you know blah 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 whatever but I promise you out of all the tournaments I have fished more than say say I've fished 20 tournaments right and I've been in the money 10 times well probably seven out of those 10 times has been thanks to a spinning rod now those numbers I've fished more than I'm just giving you a statistical example you know so seven out of 10 times I'm in the money it's because of a spinning rod um, all the BFLs this year a spinning rod has come into play for me down at Eufaula um, the first BFL was at Eufaula for me this year I was throwing a shad wrap the second one was at Lake Mitchell. I was throwing a shaky head and a wacky worm. And then the third BFL that I fished was at Smith Lake. And if you saw that video, make sure to check it out if you haven't. It's got over 100,000 views. It's, it's my best video. It's awesome. I'll put it in the top of the description. But spinning rod, come in, to, come in clutch for me. So, especially fishing as a co-angler, but it doesn't matter. Boater, co-angler, fishing off the bank, fishing down here at the pond spinning rods I'm I'm an advocate I say spinning rods are awesome I might get some hate people might think I'm crazy but I love spinning rods and this is not a rod that I've had for a long time the spinning rod that I've been using is a Shimano Zodius 7 foot 1 medium action with a Shimano Stratic CI4 2500 great setup I've had it since September of 2018 or 9 I think 2019 so this fall will be two years I've had it, or three, I'm not 100% sure. Great rod, still use it, but I was just, I needed another spinning rod. Um, fishing those BFLs, the lakes set up where I need, I used to I'd bring one spinning rod, four bait casters. Well, it's set up this year where I needed two spinning rods and three bait casters. So I borrowed my brother, Austin, you've seen him in some of the videos. He got a, he got a rod for his birthday from my grandparents, and it was a... St. Croix Mojo Bass spinning rod and it had a Shimano reel on it and you know I, I had picked it up and felt it but I had never really fished with it but I talked to him I was like hey look I need to borrow your spinning rod I need I need one for a shaky head one for a wacky worm and he let me borrow it for the Lake Mitchell tournament and it come into clutch for me caught me a couple of fish I was throwing the shaky head on it and I fell in love I got a check for that tournament went to the bank that Monday and on Tuesday I ordered the exact rod that he had so it's a seven foot one medium action shaky head rod shaky head drop shot wacky worm cinco whatever that's what i use it for it's just a good all-around length but it's the it's the st croix mojo bass i hope you can see that it's got the handle it has got cork a cork and a foam butt it's got the split grip a little cork here and then you hold it and it's got some cork up here like where you lock your reel down for the reel seat and the reel that I'm using is a Shimano I don't know how you pronounce it it's either Nasi or Noski I'm not 100% sure it's a 2500 size reel I think it runs $100, $110 I'm not 100% sure it's a great reel I love the size I love the 2500 size but I, I prefer the smaller handle not the big paddle handle I like that smaller one I mean this is a this is a super super light rod I mean just it's I'm trying to I'm trying to show y'all how to balance it I guess it's it's fairly balanced you can see it's it's tilting down just a little bit but I I just I love this rod I like the way the hook keeper is I mean it's just a, the components are really good I think it's a hundred and forty dollar rod so it's a little bit more pricey than most of the rods I've talked about I don't have many rods over this most of the ones I use are around a hundred and hundred ten bucks but this is one of the more expensive rods I have. Like I said, $140 reel, or $140 rod, excuse me. But I use this shaky head. This is ma mainly my shaky head rod. So I've, I use my shaky heads on this one because I think this is more sensitive than the $190 Shimano Zodius that I have. And I'm just, I mean, that's the truth. I think this rod is, 
more sensitive than the 190 Shimano Zodius. So I use this for my shaky heads. I like to be able to feel the bottom. And like I said, it's it's lightweight, it's it's sturdy. I mean, it's just it's just a good all-around rod. And so the way I've got it set up, like I said, I got that 2500 size reel. And as you can see, I got that bright yellow braided line. That's that is 15 pound braid to an eight or 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, depending on the situation. I may go up to 12 or I may go down to six, just depending on what's going on. And sorry, I got a mosquito biting my leg down here at the pond. But, like I was saying, depending on the situation, I'm going to go to 12-pound line if I can get away with it, muddier water, and then 6-pound line this time of the year, super clear water, finicky fish, got, got to do some finesse fishing. But the way that I set it up, I've got, I do a mono backing on your braid. Always, if you didn't know that, if you're going to put braid on a reel, it doesn't matter if it's an open face reel or a bait caster, take you some mono, 10, 12, 15-pound mono, spool up about, I don't know, 15, 20 yards, maybe even more than that, 30 yards on the reel for first, for your backing, then connect your braid. That way when you set the hook and you're casting, that braid doesn't slip and roll back in your spool, and it saves you some money because you don't have to use as much braid, because you're not going to be able to make a 90-yard cast and get down to that mono backing. But anyway, I've got, like I said, 10 to 12-pound mono for my base on this reel and then I put my 15 pound yellow floor fluorocarbon and then like I said anywhere on mainly it's 8 to 10 pound fluorocarbon leader but like I said I'll go up to 12 or go down to 6 just depending on the situation but I'm throwing this on a just a shaky head worm anything like that I, I haven't used it for a drop shot much but it'd be a great drop shot rod a little bit longer than what you might normally use but if you're somebody that's getting into tournaments really seriously or just getting into fishing and you want a nicer rod you want to step up i think this is a great rod obviously i'm not sponsored by i'm not sponsored by anybody i my sponsor is me and going to work and hopefully in the future this youtube channel i might once i hit a thousand subscribers i may be able to make some money off of this so that's i mean that's my sponsor that's it so everything i tell y'all is i've bought it or i've got it as a gift and I, it doesn't the companies aren't sending this to me so I think this is a great rod. Like I said, anybody getting into fishing or you want to step up to the next level in your rod and reel, but this is an awesome setup. And so I'll just I'm gonna go ahead and show you if you're if you were interested in buying this rod, this is what it looks like. You can't you can't really tell. It's I would call it like a dark purple. The blank is a dark purple. This you can see where it says Mojo Bass. That's a lighter purple, but the the blank is more of like a a dark purple maroon almost when the sun's out it's more of a maroon but I mean it's an awesome rod like I said it's got that got that cork on it I just I just love the way it feels and I've caught a bunch of fish on it I mean it's got me I like I said I bought it it got me it won me some money at Lake Mitchell when I borrowed my brother's rod and then I ordered my own and it come into play at Smith like I caught a keeper on this and if you've seen my Lay Lake tournament from earlier this year me and Papa all down at Lay Lake. This right here caught me a four and a half pounder on a floating worm. I was throwing my floating worm on this. It was a very versatile rod, awesome rod. If you watch that video, I'll put it in the top of the description too, so you can just see a, the testament of this rod in action, not just me telling you what I think. Like this is, I've got video proof. We were in some some fairly thick vegetation, hooked a hooked a four and a half pounder on a two alt hook with a trick worm, and this thing got it out no problem. Yeah, I mean, it's just an awesome rod. I, I really appreciate, uh, I'm sorry, my, <laughs> my dog just took off. Now. Okay, guys, I'm really sorry. My dog, my mother's dog, Skeeter, just took up, took off up the hill, and I heard something, it sounded like a deer, like if you've ever been hunting here, a deer bleat or whine, that's exactly what it sounded like. So, the dog might have just went up there and attacked a deer. I'm not 100% sure. He's back now, so maybe the deer made it made it away. I don't know, but I had to cut the video. I don't know what it was what he was doing, but like I was saying, the what I was just going over my setup and explaining to y'all that I don't I don't get anything from these companies. I'm just wanted to tell y'all what I think about them. But if you were interested in looking at buying the rod, I think it's I personally think it's a great rod. I haven't had any issues out of it. I really enjoy using it. Like I said, it's lightweight. You're not going to get fatigued throughout the day using it, but. I mean, that's it. I'll, I'll give you one more look just so you can look at it. Shimano Noski 2500 reel and then a St. Croix Mojo Bass 7 foot 1 medium action spinning rod. Great rod. And I really appreciate y'all checking out this video. I'm closing in on 800 subscribers. 
I think whenever this posts on Friday, I'll be at like 794. So maybe over the weekend I could hit 800. I'm getting close to that 1,000 mark. I'm really excited. I appreciate y'all sticking along. And this has been, I, I love doing this. I, I always enjoy making videos. And y'all stick around. I should have some more coming out. It might be trout fishing. It might be fishing down here at the pond. Or it could be down at Weedowie or West Point. I mean, you never know. So just stick around and make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.